Today I will talk about hijab, a veil that covers head and body of Muslim women in Uzbekistan. Since 9th century, Uzbekistan was a part of Muslim world being a periphery of Samanid dynasty, a local Persian family under the rule of Abbasid. Unlike Arabic states where women wear chadra, covering their whole body and head with a gown, Uzbekistan has practiced Hanafi Islam under which women are not obliged to hide their faces. Nevertheless, many Uzbek women wore paranja. Some people mistakenly assume that paranja is uh, something like Afghan burqa or Arab niqab or Iranian chadra, but paranja is clothes only used in Central Asia. Paranja is a long gown with white collar and narrow long fake sleeves attached together at the back. It is put on the top of Uzbek traditional hat and the face is covered with black veil called chachwan. Women wore chachwan walking out from the house but still staying in the yard. Paranja was put on when women left home. In 1927, when Bolsheviks came to power, thousands of women took off their paranjas and burned it. Through all Soviet history, hijab was considered as a symbol of women oppression. After the dissolution of Soviet Union, Uzbekistan became an independent state. Uzbek people in religion had sharply increased since 90s. Hundreds of illegal local mosques have been constructed very fast. Many people, including youth, started to wear religious cloths. Men abandoned neckties and women started to wear hijabs. To prevent the rise of radicalism spreading in Muslim countries, President Karimov banned wearing hijabs in public and complicated the procedure of opening religious organizations. After decades of dictatorship rule and strict state control of Islam, the new president came to power in 2016 in Uzbekistan. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev signed a decree in 2021 on freedom of conscience and religious organizations. This abolished the previous law of prohibition of wearing hijab in public. Now Uzbek women and girls can freely wear hijab anywhere, including schools. After the decree, more and more women started to wear hijab. Some of them do it according to their religious beliefs, and other women wear hijab in order to get married, showing their decency and innocence. The increasing spread of hijab in Uzbekistan is explained by easy access of internet, through which religious scholars spread Islam values. Also, YouTube has become the most common platform for online Islam classes. Several channels enjoy the attention of a few hundred thousand subscribers each.